Chicago Fire 4, Inter Miami 1. When most of the fans walked into Soldier Field today, that's not the scoreline they expected. In truth, it was a sea of pink with some blue and white stripes sprinkled in there. All there to see Messi. Messi was not in Inter Miami squad for the game today. Nonetheless, the Chicago Fire came out all guns blazing and in truth won over the home fans with their performance. You know, moments like this and opportunities that uh, you have to do grab. Uh, and, you know, we had uh, this game was sold out months ago. So I think we were look over, looking forward to the match, obviously. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think stepping on the field and having a performance like this, uh, I know the fans, a lot of them maybe came for the first time because they wanted to see also uh, Lionel Messi. And who doesn't want to see him? He's such a great player. Unfortunately, things happened. He wasn't here. But, you know, they, I think that they, they saw a great performance from our, from our team. Right? And uh -huh. I guarantee you that a lot of people will go home and say, man, that was a great performance. The game was entertaining. You know, uh, I think both teams came out to play. It was an open game. Uh, they saw some great goals. And, and I think that's what people want to see. It's still about putting a show on the field. And, and that's why people want to come and see special players like, like Messi. You know, we have Shakiri. I think he's special. We have Brian Gutierrez, you know, but they need to, you know, to be able to do it like they did it tonight. Uh, and uh, I think the fans will walk away. And I definitely feel that, you know, I don't know if they'll be season ticket holders, but I definitely believe that they'll come and, and see a number of games next year. Hopefully not just the Miami game again. Yeah, it was a good fight uh, in front of a great crowd. Um, too many pink jerseys, actually. Um, but yeah, like I said, very important home win for us. And um, finally, we scored some goals. Um, that was very important today. And um, yeah, we played uh, very well defensively. And yeah, we were, we were good in the offense. And um, that brought us uh, the win at the end. Jordan Shakiri had a difficult two years since his big money arrival at the Fire at the beginning of 2022. But when the Fire came out for the second half, Shakiri was the man at the center of the action. After a goal in the first half, he came out all guns blazing and broke through with the first goal in the 49th minute. Yeah, feeling good. Um, three points was very important today. I think I'm very proud of the guys, how they performed today. Uh, we knew that uh, we have to suffer sometimes and we knew the quality of Inter Miami, they had a lot of full possession but we knew also that they have uh, some uh, yeah, counter-attack problems and uh, we did very well and uh, we take our chances and scored and, uh, four goals so um, I'm very really proud and it was an important uh, win. Just three minutes later Inter Miami had a lifeline. Jonathan Dean gave away a penalty with an unfortunate handball which Probably would have been in the back of the net if he hadn't blocked it, but Josef Martinez converted the penalty nonetheless. Inter Miami tied the game at one, and the fire seemed a bit uncomfortable. Facing adversity is not something they've been particularly good at this season. However, one time they did come back in a similar situation was against Inter Miami earlier this year, where they blew a 2 0 lead before Miami tied it at two. Kai Kamara scored the winning goal that day, and Marin Haile Selassie had the response for the fire this time as he propelled the fire into the lead with two rapid fire goals in quick succession after coming off the bench. Oh, both were amazing. You know, uh, they saw me taking the run to the space, and uh, yeah, it was a big, uh, big pass and uh, huge for the team, yeah. Yeah, it was a nice moment for both of us, but uh, I think, uh, first of all, it was uh, huge for the team, for the coach, for the staff, for everyone, so uh, we're really happy, but uh, we have the next game in three days, so we'll have to look forward. Jordan Shakiri produced the dagger to make the game 4-1 and put the team one giant step closer to reaching the postseason. Thank you. Oh, I don't know, maybe he needs 60,000 fans every game to perform like this. I mean, for him, it's a big stage, and I think he always, you know, big players perform in big, in big stages, and... Uh, you know, he knew what, what was at stake today. He knew the, not only MLS, I think worldwide people were watching and uh, he had an incredible performance. But, you know, I think we expect him and I expect him to be able to make a difference in, 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 in every game, you know, and today he did. He scored some great goals, but the way he played and, and the way he worked and stuff like that, and uh, he was very positive with everyone. And uh, it's great to see, for me, in every game, he always makes one or two, three passes that, that are world class. Uh, and uh, I, I see how, how much he helps us. And even though sometimes the numbers are not there as far as goals and this, and he needs to as a DP player, we all know that. 
uh, you need that production from DP players, you know, but I think his ability also to help his teammates and be more positive, I think that's also a responsibility with every DP that comes here, you know. It was particularly a special night for the hometown hero, Chris Brady. While he couldn't quite get the clean sheet he wanted, it was an emotional performance for him in goal as his team defeated Inter Miami in such a dramatic way. A little unfortunate to give away a PK, but um, <laughs> no, I feel great. Uh, and yeah, the, the fans is a whole separate thing. I. Uh, I really appreciate uh, everyone coming out, um, and I know the team does as well, but uh, for me especially, coming from here, it's I've honestly never been in Soldier Field with that many people. I've never been to a Bears game, never been to any of those, so um, it was a first for me, and uh, it was amazing. So, um, yeah, no, we, we really appreciate all the fans, and that was definitely our 12th man out there um, pushing us to uh, get all four goals, so yeah, amazing. It was also a really special one for Wyatt Omsberg, who started at center back. It was a bit of a surprise he started over Carlos Tehran, but he had a great performance, had some huge defensive moments. And while it was not ideal for him that he didn't get the opportunity to play against arguably the greatest player of all time, Lionel Messi, it still ranks as one of the best moments of his career, which has been mostly in Major League Soccer. A little bit mixed. I mean, on the one hand, it would be amazing to play against him. You know, um, but on the other hand, obviously they're a little bit of a uh, less dangerous team with the best player in the world not on the field. So um, I think probably better uh, for us tonight that he wasn't here. But um, at the same time, probably would have liked to play against him. But at the end of the day, just glad to get the win. Right at the top, I would say. Yeah, I mean, uh, just walking out for warm-ups. Uh, I think we all knew it was going to be a really special night for us. Um, our fans are always awesome. Uh, but tonight especially, you know, 60,000 um, was a really unique experience for us. And, and hopefully come Saturday uh, we can get, you know, I don't know about 60,000, but hopefully we can get a lot of fans to pack the place and uh, give us energy on Saturday because it's another huge game. What a night. Let me know what you guys thought. I'm not going to forget this one in a hurry. I don't think any of you will either. But thank you so much for watching Men 97. Stay tuned as we look to follow the fire reaching the postseason for the first time since 2017. I've been Nas Calabrese for Men in Red 97, live from Soldier Field.